friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brooklyn. I am going into my first year of teaching first grade and today is the first day of school. So I've got a lot to do this morning. It is 625 kids. I pick them up from the gym at 715. So less than an hour. That's terrifying. Um, I gotta learn to like get things done faster, but um, I was just looking for my phone in my bag. Wow. I just went to look for it. But um, one of the things I have to do this morning is all of our kids have to go home labeled <laughs> um, with a little label with their name, how they're getting home, and if they're getting home on the bus, they have to have their address as well as the bus number. So I need to do that really quickly because um, I didn't have the papers to do it yesterday. So I'm going to go quickly and do that so that I know where all my kids are going. And then I have I bought a mini fridge, so I don't know. I don't think I'm going to plug it in yet, though. Um, but I do need to make a copy of one more copy of my um, coloring sheet because I'm out um, and I don't want someone to be left out. So there's that. And then what else? Cubby numbers. I need to do cubby numbers. So I'm going to quickly get started for the day, show you it whenever we're all ready. I've printed out the name tags. It is now 645. Oh, goodness. But I've also printed out this and I'm going to put this on the cubbies. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So whew, I look crazy. I'm going to quickly show you my PowerPoint for the day and then go pick up these children. Ah! Um, well, actually, this isn't where I'm starting. We're starting this and I have pictures for them and then we'll have a timer and they're going to color a picture. A little bit about me, our um, procedures for the morning. Then we're going to go over what a normal morning slide's going to look like and what it all means. All of my attention getters. Get more and then class dojo carpet time procedures with pictures and just some reminders and then they're going to come to carpet and see if they can do it correctly if they can't then they're we're going to go back and try again then we're going to do our read aloud which we're going to do um a letter from your teacher on the first grade day of school another teacher has this one of mine then we're going to talk about leaving the carpet we're going to try leaving the carpet then we're going to talk about pack up procedures and during this time um or no, sorry, at the beginning, whenever I tell them what a normal day is gonna look like, I'm gonna go ahead and tell them which hook is theirs over at the cubby area, because they put the labels on it, um, and show them where it is, and they'll come up one at a time and put their backpack there. So at the end of the day, I'll remind them which one's theirs, they will grab their backpack, then we're talking about the different ways to go home, and then it'll be the end of the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my screen, because that's a good way to start. Oh, and I need to turn on all my lights. I'm going to um, have mood lighting in here. <laughs> so my lamp will be on over here. My little llama. That one. These lights will be on. And then all my lamps. So, yeah. I also need to go to the office because I can't find my... Um, they haven't been able to find my room key yet and I'm not allowed to have children in here with an unlocked door for safety obviously and I don't want to have children in here with an unlocked door because that's honestly scary in these times so I'm gonna go a little early and grab that but here she is let's start this day all right friends it is now um almost 10 30 the school day has ended and it was so good um let me try to get some lighting for y'all so you can actually see me there you go but um it was so good and I know it's just the first day so it could just be like you know they're not used to me yet so they haven't like shown their true colors but they were all so good um but we um got like I went to the gym got all my kids finally um one girl didn't come today one boy was on two of our rosters so he went to the other class first and then they ended up sending him over here later but um so I had 18 in here today and we walked in line. They, I was like, all right, friends, make sure we're quiet in the hallway and staying on the sec second block. We walk on the second block. They did pretty good about that. We need to work a little harder on staying on the second block and not talking, but um, they honestly did pretty good for like the first day and we haven't even done any procedures on it yet. So I was, that was just me telling them in the moment. Got in here and I stood at the door um, before we came in. And I was like, all right, friends. So you're gonna walk in and there is going to be a coloring sheet on your table. Um, on your desk, go find your name and your coloring sheet. And then what I'm gonna have you do is if you brought crayons, you're gonna color with your crayons. If you need crayons, I have some crayons that you can use so you can raise your hand and I will bring you some crayons. So 
we did that. They all came in, they sat down, and they were silent. And just silently working. Every now and then they would whisper to the person next to them. But I had um, my board on and I had that timer playing. And it was like an aquarium timer. So it had like relaxing aquarium music behind it. But yeah, it was like perfect. Um, and then, so because I'm a new, new teacher, even though I've taught here before, um, I took a break from teaching. And then also I never started a year with anyone. So all the new teachers got an aid in here for the first day. Um, and my aide was like, she was walking around, she was like, they were so good. And we went through our procedures, we had a read aloud, um, and then we, I had a bunch of time left over because I was expecting to waste a bunch of time on procedures because I was expecting, my, I just expect baby behavior to be bad, it's sad, but, um, so we had a bunch of extra time, so we got to color again, um, and then we talked about how we were going home, what the procedure was for going home, then we went and lined up at like 9, 10, buses came about 9 20 so the buses were usually so our leave time is 9 30 but usually on these days the buses get here at 9 they said so they went ahead and had us line up so we just sat in the hallway for like 10 or 20 minutes um but it was okay they got to you know talk to each other and a whisper voice and they did fine with that and then we got them out all the buses out and then the car riders um went and it took almost 30 minutes to do car rider line, which is like kind of crazy. Usually it takes like 15 or 20, um, but it took longer today because we're getting used to it and we don't have the car tags at all yet. So, but um, the, um, I had one kid that his parent did not come to pick him up. So then I had to go to the office and um, wait and we were in line to call his parent. And then his dad came up and met us um, at the door. So there he was able to check him out. So that worked out fine. But now we have in-service. Um, I did not end up giving them the bubbles because I forgot to print out my little labels, which I'm going to do today and tie them on. And I'll just give them on Thursday because we don't have school tomorrow. Our first full day is Thursday. So I'll just do it on the first full day, which will be fine. I need to um, work on my um, PowerPoint for Thursday. Um, and make sure that's all good and I might show you some of that um, I also need to set up my mini fridge so I'm gonna do that but first I'm gonna go to the restroom I'm already starting to feel this can't go to the restroom whenever I want so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll let you know whenever there's something new all right friends so it is much 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 later um, I went ahead and went out to eat with my team so um, we didn't get I didn't get as much done as I wanted to but I really feel like that's something I need to do but since I got back, I've worked on my PowerPoint, but it's not finished, so I'm not gonna show you that. Um, maybe tomorrow morning I'll show it to you while I'm doing my teacher work day. But I went around after I got back from eating and went in every student's desk and got out all their supplies because whenever they got in here, I had them put every single supply just in their desk, just shove it in there. Um, I'm gonna quickly show you what each person's desk should have. Um, because I made backup ones, because I had like, I were from six to eight people not bring their pencil box and their supplies today, so I went ahead and made one. It has oh, crayons, two glue sticks, an expo marker, and two pencils. And then um, I'm also gonna put scissors in there, but I don't have enough scissors for one to get an ex like to like give them out. Um, so I might need to go buy some after Thursday, whenever everyone comes back, but. That's what I want them to have in their desk at all times. Also, each person was supposed to bring two folders. So one folder will be their take home folder. So it'll say take home on the front. Then right here, it'll say bring back to school or leave it home. So that's gonna be then their take home binder. Then their other binder is gonna be a classwork binder um, or folder. Um, and I also, they're gonna have a third binder as well, a uh, folder as well. They're gonna have like three or four binder folders goodness but um the third one is going to be all about their um their their yeah their oh my goodness I cannot talk all about their it's all about their oh like um ELA stuff my laptop is charging um, because we have in service tomorrow and it's dead at the moment. I got a lot of Kleenex and one thing hand sanitizer, a lot of Ziploc bags, which is nice. I also added in my mini fridge. You want to see? Here it is. So here is my mini fridge. 
She is small but mighty. And look how cute this is. Wait. It lights up. But it's just a tiny mini fridge from Walmart. It holds like four Coke cans down here. And then I can put something else up here. And then it has like a little thing right here as well. And then you just... Make it. I'm not very good at latching it with one hand. Just yet. Because it has to be broken in one minute. But yeah, anyway, that is my little mini fridge I got. Um, on Thursday, we will be reading this little book and I'm planning on vlogging so don't worry and um, we will be reading this book and then we will also be doing this all about me flip book super excited about that and then I'll be giving out their bubble wands then I was gonna get them out today but I forgot to print off the paper so I'm gonna do that um the other things I have laid out for Thursday that we may or may not do um this missing apples they have to fill in the missing numbers and then color the amount of numbers this is just honestly for me to get a little insight into where they are at um but it's still being fun and not like curriculum based um we're also doing this letter sorting they've sort the uppercase and the lowercase letters again this might seem a little kindergarten for them um but it's we have a, we're a title one school and we are very low if that makes sense but um, I already told all of them by the end of this year, they will be reading a chapter book to me. So we are going to persevere, but I wanna see where they're at. So we're also gonna have them trace the alphabet and then write it in lowercase, trace the alphabet and write it in uppercase or capital, sorry. Um, but there's all that. I can't really think of anything else in specific that I wanted to talk to you guys about. This is gonna be kind of a shorter vlog just because it was the first day of school and it was hectic. Um, I am going to go ahead and do a classroom tour. I'll probably film it tomorrow, so you'll hopefully see it maybe Friday of this week. If you're watching it, like when I post, like if you're watching this right when I posted it, you'll hopefully see it um, that next video this Friday. So I can't think of anything else I want to tell you. Um, I just am so shocked at how good these children were. Like, I told my teammates, I was prepared for crazy, insane behaviors like I was used to in kindergarten. When I taught kindergarten, I was expecting children screaming and cussing me out. And I literally said, all right, friends, we're going to walk in the classroom. There's a um, coloring sheet on your table or on your desk. Go find the desk with your name on it. Um, get out your crayons if you brought crayons. If you don't have crayons, raise your hand while you sit there quietly and I will bring you some crayons. And we're gonna color for 15 minutes. And I had a um, PowerPoint on with a 15 minute timer with some and like an aquarium in the background. And I had my light, my main lights turned off and it was just my lamps and my three lamps and then my string lights at the front and then my lights under the back counter top. Um, and it was so peaceful. Since I'm a first year teacher, technically, I think I mentioned this, I had someone in here with me and she was just like astounded at how good these kids were. And so was I. So I know it's like the honeymoon phase. They don't really know me. It's a new school year, all that. But it really gave me a little confidence boost. And I think it's going to be a really, really, really good year. I'm super excited. Honestly, I'm just super relieved that they weren't bad. <sighs> like no one cussed, no one screamed, no one hit anyone. Oh, I do have one little girl who um, is going through some testing for a learning disability. So she may be moving out of my classroom, depending on what the results of that are, because I am not um, the um, SPED inclusion class this year. I'm just the regular education class. So if it comes to it and they decide she needs um, more intervention and it would be easier if she may be moved out of my class into one of my teammates' classes that has SPED, so that whenever intervention happens, it's easier. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Um, if you're not already, don't forget to leave like and subscribe to my channel to stay updated on all the content that will be coming soon. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.